since your arrival to Lebanon in 2015 and until today, how many articles did you write about cryptocurrency and what was your uh, first uh, article about cryptocurrency in Lebanon? 10 to 15 articles uh, on cryptocurrency and associated kind of stories. The first one was an investigation, was how I met you, in fact, and that was an investigation into, into the ecosystem of, of brokers like yourself uh, and how that operates, uh, how that came about, um, and how I interact with the general economy and the general population. So, yeah, the first article was actually one of the biggest in the sense that it was, uh, you know, since then I've written uh, articles about the specific um, why helium doesn't work in Lebanon, for example, mm. which is honestly only people who love cryptocurrency are going to really be interested in that. So a lot of people would be interested to read it because it was about the economy, about the Lebanese mm -hmm. uh, crypto. Uh, yeah, and I think also Lebanon has style, you know, and uh, Lebanon does things with style. Due to the lack of regulation, due to the sort of shaky socioeconomic framework that everybody's working in, you have really fascinating stories and you have the people that succeed are people who have some force of character, not just some, um, not just a good business plan. You know? Whereas in Europe or the US, not so much the US, but in places where you have regulation, you know what the rules are, and as long as you play by them, you're going to sort of so get right. somewhere. Yeah. Huh. In Lebanon, you don't really know what the rules are, so you have to survive and profiting. Yeah, you have to really. It, there has to be a certain initiative, agility, and, and agility, the character and connections to, to mm. carry something mm. forward. Mm.